Just days after filing for divorce from his wife, Yael Cohen, Scooter Braun has decided to take a step back from the social scene and deactivate his Instagram and Twitter accounts. Ariana Grande's manager, Scooter Braun, is now speaking out about their complicated work relationship and how at one point, she even fired him. Despite his team advising him not to take Ariana back, the two were able to resolve their issues and work together once again. Still though, their relationship is far from perfect. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Exposing SMG. Today we are doing something different, and that is talking about a manager versus client relationship. Oftentimes, people don't talk about a celebrity's relationship with their manager, and that is usually because the manager is behind the scenes and irrelevant to the public eye. But not this manager. And in today's video, we will finally be talking about Ariana Grande and her relationship with her manager, Scooter Braun. Ah, uh, yes. Two people who have been so involved in the music and entertainment industry for the past decade. In this video, we are going to go into detail with Ariana's relationship with Scooter, the business side and the personal side, while also talking about whether or not Ariana is going to drop Scooter as a manager. For all of you who do not know, Ariana has fired Scooter in the past before, and something tells me there is tension rising again, and in this video, that's what we're going to discuss. Make sure to watch till the end and tell me your thoughts about any points mentioned in today's video. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe for more. Without further ado, let's begin. Rocky Past with Scooter Braun Ariana and Scooter have a rocky past. Why? Simple. She fired him. Well, actually, it wasn't just that, but I think that was the major point. Ariana and Scooter sometimes didn't see eye to eye, as Ariana used to have a major attitude problem, and it was up to her management team, aka Scooter and others, to try and talk her out of it. Many people have actually come out against Ariana and spoken about not working with her anymore due to her diva behavior. So yes, it's safe to say that Ariana was one of the reasons Scooter was up at night losing hair and sleep. Even though Ariana has changed as a person now, it's still important to bring up the past because it was one of the factors draining her relationship with Scooter. At some point in 2016, Scooter was no longer Ariana's manager and it was because she fired him and was told by others that he was holding her back and that she could do much better. She was actually quite successful thanks to Scooter's help, so I wonder why she thought he wasn't doing a good job. I guess that's what happens when you have a bunch of people whispering in your ear and you start to listen to them. If you were a reader of mine on ExposingSMG.com, then you know the story and you know that one of the main people who were the cause of Scooter getting fired were Ariana's mom, Joan. This isn't too hard to believe because obviously a mother would want the best for their daughter and if she felt like Scooter was lacking, it was her job to say something. Although, I'm not sure why her mom thought that, considering that Scooter gave Ariana the best promotion and made her blow up into an A-list star while under his management. And this was reflected in her Dangerous Woman era, where the album debuted at number 2 on Billboard, and the lead single peaked at number 8, while the second single, Into You, didn't even crack the top 10 on Billboard, and peaked number 13. Meanwhile, her past eras with Scooter, she achieved two number one albums and three top five singles. Which is why she came crawling right back. So when Ariana came crawling back, they obviously needed to do some PR damage and make up a story about why she fired Scooter that isn't as mean as what actually happened. On October 2018, Scooter opened up about the situation, hinting that it was shitty boyfriends who blocked her view of seeing what was right. And while the two started working together again, it was safe to say that there was tension. Scooter said, I could have said a lot, and in fact my team wanted me to, because they were pissed. But I said, we're not going to say a word, and this is just going to come back around. They were like, never take her back. But I just said, let's stay quiet and let our truth be our actions. 
I mean, listen, maybe it was shitty boyfriends who got in the way of things, but Ariana in the past used to be a very unreasonable person, and her success definitely got into her head, and she thought she didn't need him anymore. The firing did a lot more to Scooter than it did for Ariana because Scooter says where it made me be a better manager. Number one, it allowed me to know that I can be fired. I have never been fired before. You have to do it for the right reasons. And if you get screwed over in the end, so be it. And hope you had a hell of a ride along the way. I feel like he was definitely hinting that Ariana was in the wrong and was kind of shading her a bit with the whole you have to do it for the right reasons and if you get screwed over in the end, so be it. Kind of like I was in the right, but if I still get screwed over then whatever. And this brings me to the point of Ariana Grande being unpredictable. Ariana is definitely an unpredictable celebrity in this industry. Sometimes I think about how she's married and I'm just like, what? All over again. So yes, she is unpredictable with her relationships and career paths. And I'm totally sure when she fired Scooter back in 2016, she left him and the rest of the gang dumbfounded. And this brings me to the point of Ariana will do whatever the hell she wants. Ariana likes to hop onto trends that will help her stay in the limelight. She definitely has a vision for her career and people are definitely enjoying her. Point of the story is, she likes to have her fans and the general public support her. She doesn't want to be associated with any negative press. And with Scooter Braun's entire life currently being a hot mess, I doubt she'll want to stick around any longer. If she feels like being associated with Scooter is bad for her image and career, she'll drop him, and something tells me this time around, there is no coming back. What do you guys think about this? Do you get the vibe that she might drop him, or do you have faith in Ariana and Scooter being a business duo? Ariana and Scooter's personal relationship versus their business relationship. Making nice in this industry is what will save you, and this is desperately what Scooter Braun is holding on to. Ariana runs Scooter in both their personal relationship and their business relationship, and this is something you can all see just by doing a little bit of research. First of all, Ariana and Scooter do not have a strong personal relationship. Unlike Justin Bieber, Scooter isn't filling up a dad role for Ariana. When it comes to Justin, aka Scooter's biggest client, you will find this predictable factor, and that is the family factor. Honestly, at this point, Scooter is practically Justin's dad, and from this point on, you can see that their personal relationship goes far beyond business, which is why Justin will never fire Scooter, and Scooter will never drop Justin. Demi Lovato, another client, even mentioned that oftentimes she projects daddy issues on her managers and was worried about doing that with Scooter, who was well known for being a father figure to Justin. But it's different with Ariana, because with Ariana it's always business even when it's personal. Just like her firing him, it was still business. Scooter will always play nice with Ariana even if she's constantly threatening to drop him. And here's a good example. When it came to signing Demi Lovato, Scooter literally based his decision on whether or not that makes Ariana happy. And the worst part is, he practically said it. He admitted that he was going to be respectful and decline Demi. He knew that he could help Demi, so instead of telling her right away what his decision was, he decided to run it through Ariana, who said, let me go get coffee with her. He ran it by Ariana because he knew that Demi was capable of being a big star and was worried Ariana would feel the competition and fight with him. So Demi's management was basically in the hands of Ariana for a solid day or two. The whole story paints Ariana as the head bitch in charge, Scooter as the doormat, and Demi as the burden child. I don't know, just something about that entire story seems like a backhanded compliment and it really does show you the dynamic between Scooter and Ariana. So it's safe to say that Scooter likes to be in Ariana's good graces, but it will only matter what she thinks. It's not a bad thing since at the end of the day, it's her career, but it's safe to say that everything isn't as cute and goals as it seems.
Tension rising between Ariana and Scooter. Now, in this entire video, I keep talking about tension rising between them again in modern times. We talked about the 2016 drama, and now I'm talking about the modern day tension. Like I said previously, Ariana is unpredictable, and she might not want to associate with someone like Scooter, whose life is currently up in flames. Ever since the Taylor Swift drama in 2019, it seems as if Scooter can't catch a break. With all the hate his clients are getting, such as the Justin Bieber yummy hate, the Changes album hate, and the Demi Lovato Froyo hate, Scooter is clearly out of luck. So who's to say Ariana will stick around? Now it seems that his personal life is being broadcasted for the world to hear about. He is getting a divorce from his wife of seven years. There have even been rumors circling around that he cheated on her and got his mistress pregnant. While at the climax of this drama, he deletes all his social media accounts. So yeah, safe to say Scooter has a lot to deal with and I'm not sure if Ariana cares enough to sympathize with him. She's gonna thank you next him all over again. I also noticed something funny. On Ariana's Excuse Me, I Love You Netflix special, she had cute and personalized nicknames for nearly everyone on her team, but literally Scooter. It was like tour manager, best human, Scott and Brian got besties, choreographers, songwriters, creative directors, even the lightning tech got a cute description, but when it came to Scooter, it was just manager. She's too funny, I mean the lightning tech got more of a description than the manager she's had for nearly a decade. Then it gets even more awkward. Scooter recently had an entire story for Variety, and his most popular clients gave quotes about him, except one specific person who didn't speak out, and that was Ariana. Demi, Justin, and J Balvin all gave quotes for the cover story, but nope, not Ariana. And I feel like she wouldn't miss out on something like that unless it was done on purpose. Last year, when it was Ariana's birthday, Scooter made a whole montage for her, and she still paid him dust. He said, Happy birthday to my sister and the queen at Ariana Grande. She is beyond talented and brilliant, but her heart for others is what impresses me the most. She truly stands for what she believes in. Ari, we have been through some shit, and we are family. Love you, happy 27, red heart. And she completely ignored him. <laughs> I don't know. All I'm saying is that I'm sensing some heated tension, and Ariana might have to go out and start looking for new managers. That is, if she didn't already. What do you guys think about this? Am I looking too much into it, or is there some serious behind-the-scenes drama going on? Do you want Ariana to stay with Scooter, or do you think she is better off without him? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.